Tan has the best titties you've ever seen in your life. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. Like every bit of it, like it's perfectly cut right here and kind of like just swoops and you're just like, you just wanna nuzzle in there and like spend your day. Hey everyone, I'm Karamo Brown from Netflix's Queer Eye and I'm gonna be insta-stalking the rest of the guys in the Fab Five. This was during the Joe Gawal episode and I took Johnny deep into the South. Deep. I'm talking about redneck country, deep into the South. And my baby walked in in a kilt and a shoulder number without any fear in the world. And that's what I love most about Jonathan because he's stylish, he looks good, and it just says like, I don't give a damn what you think about me. We all could use a dose of Johnny in us where we just feel, that sounded a little sexual. Uh, <laughs> I think we get all take from Jonathan, <laughs> has confidence with it all because I just love it. Look at that face and body, body positivity, Johnny. Ugh. When I was in high school, I played football and Jonathan was a cheerleader and he and I both fantasized that we would have known each other in high school because we would have dated and we'd have been prom king and queen. And we say that all the time, but it didn't happen. So now I just settle for him being my brother and someone I love, or my sister, whatever. Okay, thirst trap, Anthony. Let me tell y'all something. I have been calling this since day one. Day one! When I put out a thirst trap, I know exactly what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I put a little quote on there to like, try to humble it down a little bit, but like, I'm showing you my abs. I have abs and I want you to see it. Anthony likes to be like, um, oh my gosh, you just caught me like this. Don't, no, look away, but look. And that's exactly what this is. And it got 207,000 likes. Hell yeah, it would. He looks good as hell. But stop pretending like you don't know you're the thirstiest out of us all. This is legit how we are constantly. And you know that book that Anthony has, he just carries around books. I'm just let y'all know that right now. I've never seen Anthony read any of the books that he has ever had in his hand. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. Anthony in a book. Okay. No, seriously, is this real life, Anthony? This is not real life. This is not how you read. No one reads like this. If Anthony does not stop with these books, like, what? what? <laughs> y'all are setting me up for this, because did someone tell y'all that I don't like know about Anthony and his books? And his caption is even multicolor books. Are you kidding me? Like the rainbow color flag books? This is how I know Anthony, as me going over his house, he has flour on his face, he's cooking. This is the Anthony I know. Like, not that book Anthony. I don't know that guy who's just like always perfect with the books in his face. I don't know that, Anthony. I know this, Anthony. <laughs> Listen, Tan is my queen, okay? Like, seriously, that perfectly coiffed hair is his crown and his glory. This is quintessential Tan. He's regal, he's sweet, he's still firm, he's still like about his business. Like, he should be the queen of England. Or the king? No, let's say queen. Legit, this is not a joke. I have this photo printed in my house. After I saw it on Instagram, I literally took it to Kinko's and got it printed. This photo is so beautiful of him. It represents his culture. You see his features, his hair, his eyes. This picture makes me so happy that I had to print it. And my kids were like, why is there a picture of Tan France in our house? <laughs> and they're, like, I don't even have a picture of the Fat Five up. And the kids were like, why do you print a picture of Tan? And I was like, don't worry about that. Tan is in the house now. Oh, Disneyland Tan gives me so much life because a lot of times Tan likes to be the very serious one in charge. I'm all about it, but people don't realize he has the biggest playful spirit. And this is exactly him. I feel like when he's not on camera, like he always has Disneyland Mickey Mouse airs on. But also who's that chic? with Mickey Mouse ears. I didn't even know they made black ones. I thought they were like different colors. He found the most chic Mickey Mouse ears to match his glasses and to match his shirt. Typical Tan. Outside of Tan and I, I'm giving myself a little bit of credit too. Bobby's probably the next most fashionable guy. Like everything about this outfit I would wear. Look at that blazer, the shirt, the way that the pants are nicely rolled, the sneakers, like he's on point. You know, if I was on point like this too, I'd look at myself in the mirror as well and do like little things. I don't have any hair, so I can't do that. But if I did, 
I would. You gotta work, ballerina Bobby. <laughs> I've never seen this photo. I've never seen the photo in my life. Let me tell y'all something, Bobby will get you with like that amazing jawline he has. He's like, look at me, I'm here, everything's symmetrical. Look at this extension. I thought Jonathan was our ballerina. I did not know Bobby like knew how to do this. Oh, this is dinner of Bobby and I the other night. Ugh. This is like literally Bobby and I 24 seven in LA. We just melt into each other. It's like legit ebony and ivory. Ebony and ivory. This is the first time we've seen each other and like all of us together in maybe two and a half months, three months. And so it just, it's just special. Every time we get together, it's as if your best friends that you went to camp with, that you've been writing to each other, you finally get to see each other again. And there's nothing more special about it because uh, I really am getting emotional. I'm trying to hold back tears. Each of them brings something to me as I bring to them. And it's just special when you know you get with people that you truly love and adore and you know that someone's going to bring something great out of you. Um, and that's what this photo reminds me. 